All right, this is Amanda's first little ride here. We just discovered something kind of cool. Show us, Amanda. Look at that. This trike has a reverse. Isn't that a cool feature? That's got to be the best feature about this trike. I've only seen one other trike that had a reverse like that. Don't run into Keith's truck back there. No. <laughs> hey guys, Richard here with eBike Reviews and Adventures. Hi, I'm Amanda. Hey, today we're going to be unboxing this 630 trike. We're excited to tear into it to see what it's all about. Big thanks to 630 for sending it to us so we can, yeah, so we can get familiar with it. Uh, stick around for the video because we're going to show you a little bit of the assembly. We're going to give you our first impressions. And in another video here real soon, we're going to go out, we're going to be riding it some more and also giving you some more impressions. And then after that, we're going to do a full review, tell you everything we like or anything that we may not like about this trike. So make sure you subscribe and stick around. Ready to get going? Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. All right, Mandy, you ready for the big reveal? Oh, look at that color. Check it out. It's a cream color, and this is that vintage saddle or that vintage brown we talked about. So that's kind of cool. We got quite a bit of foam wrapped around parts of the frame. We got a couple of foam blocks just to kind of keep uh, the box from crushing. And it seemed to do a fine job there. Don't see anything that looks like it's damaged. Nothing that is concerning. Um, yeah, so it looks like we're going to have to put a tire on, probably put on baskets, put on a seat. And I don't think there's going to be much assembly here. Oh, looks like we have, we do have fenders right here. So Amanda and I got to work. We continued the unpackaging of the trike, removing all the foam, cutting off the zip ties, finding all the parts that were stuffed inside the box. Amanda found a handlebar stem that needed to be attached. I'm finding baskets. Turn loose! <laughs> Woo. All right, Amanda. I did find a nut and a washer loosely laying around in the box, so it's always a good idea to double check your box and packaging to make sure nothing accidentally gets thrown away. This is kind of a cool design. I mean, it's a different trike uh, than most that we've had in this channel because uh, most of them had much bigger tires than this. So these are some skinny tires, and I'm not sure what those are yet. Are those like 12 or maybe even 16 inch? They are Kenda brand, so that's a good thing to see Kenda. So kind of cool. Back here in the back, I see we have the um, seven speed right here, which is nice. Most trikes come as a single speed. So this one is a multi-speed trike, so I like that. Happy to see that. And here we have a single mechanical disc brake. And... Yeah, looks like a differential axle, so that's always a plus. I like the color. The color's pretty cool. It's a folding trike, so we can unfold this booger here in a moment. And, yeah. Let's just keep going. Unfold it. Unfolding the trike was actually much easier than what it appeared right here. Uh, you know, I was just trying to figure out where, the, where to and grab it and out. how to handle it. All right. Whew. Amanda started assembling the front handlebar stem. She slipped it in, got it locked down into place. It's a handlebar stem that does fold. It makes it a little bit easier to attach the handlebars. And then now lock that down. There you go. There you go. All right, and then lock that one down, down there too. Okay, one thing <laughs> about this front tiger, this monster is heavy. It looks tiny and small, but man, I tell you what, I bet that thing weighs 30 pounds. This is... What? Like Toby? What? <laughs> like Toby? <laughs> yeah, like Toby. I mean, it's just, that is massive right there. Holy smokes. <clears throat> All right, so let's see. Let's expose the headlight here, get that out of the way. Bend it up so it's not interfering. And we're going to slip this on right here. Should be nice and easy because it's a small tire, easy to handle. And I'm going to set it in to the dropouts. All right, nice. Sneak around here, man, so we can show them something here. So on this right here, you do have 
uh, on the axle right here, there's like this uh, special little nut that goes on here that's kind of squared off. You got to make sure that's spun the right direction so that your fork will actually sit down on top of it. Yeah, so that was, that's kind of important to know. Here you go. Here's what I was talking about. That special little washer that's got this little, uh, this little uh, notch right here, or that piece, that goes on the bottom of your fork right here to kind of fill that gap just like that. Get it locked in just like that. Not sure how that's supposed to go yet either. Put my wire back. Line up our arrows. Get that in. Tighten this down. Attaching the fenders were easy. You just had two screws that you had to remove from the frame. And it allowed you to uh, slip the screws back through the frame and then right into the fender. What you working on, Amanda? Amanda started working on the front fender and getting it attached and also getting ready to attach the front basket. All was pretty standard, didn't have any trouble with it. Toby, of course, was supervising. Okay, after removing the four screws back here on the back part of the chassis, we're gonna take our basket and uh, this cutesy little basket right here, and we're gonna set it up here and kind of get it lined up side to side. So everything looks like it's pretty well lined up. And what we do, uh, we open the basket first. There we go. Oh. Making sure everything's back lined up again. And then you take these brackets right here and you just lay those on top of the basket on the inside, like so. And then you take your screws and you stick them through the bracket, through the wiring on the basket, and right back down into the hole, right down inside there. And it's a tight fit, so you may have to wiggle this thing in there a little bit to get it started. And Amanda's over here attaching the front fender to the front forks. All right, Amanda's still working on the front basket there. We've got the rear basket installed, the rear fender's installed. Um, pretty simple design, so wasn't bad at first. It looked like it might be a little intimidating, but trust me, anyone can do this. It's uh, real simple to install. We only have a couple little things to, uh, to finish up here, and then we'll be ready to take it out on its first ride. Hello. <laughs> what do you think, Amanda? Um, the assembly was pretty simple. We had to monkey around a little bit, make some adjustments, but other than that, it wasn't terrible. Mm-hmm. Um, I do really like that big basket on the back. I think that's really cute for, you know. I, I like that it's got a lid. Yeah. Like you kind of cutesy. Pack a picnic if you wanted. And throw a lid on it so it doesn't blow out. Or we talked about off camera that could be a jack box for a jack in a box. But he could poke his little head through there maybe. We'll see. Yeah. Um, I do like the seat and the handlebars. I like that those match. Mm-hmm. The handlebar grips. Accent. Mm-hmm leather look. And you got a little pop of orange, which whatever, that's not super important. Kind of adds to it, the look though. I mean, that orangey color is almost as similar to the rusty, so it complements each other. So it, I think overall it adds, it adds a little style to the trike. Yeah. So I like that. I like that, um, yeah, I like that the handlebars are adjustable, so you can fold them down. And we'll talk more about that in the, in the review video. I like that it's a lower step, so it's easier for people to get on and off because it, they don't have to raise their legs so far. And it seems to be a, a larger opening here compared to some other trikes, so it's a little longer. The trike overall is a little longer. Because it has smaller tires, that also helps keep the trike a little lower to the ground, again, making it easier for people to get on and off that may have trouble. All right, guys, we're going to take it for a quick spin, and this will be the, uh, the first impression here. I haven't taken it anywhere yet, other than I powered it on. And some cool things on the display there. It even tells you the temperature. I don't know if you can see that in this little dark in here. 
shows you the temperature right there and your miles per hour and what pedal assist you're in distance kind of cool yeah let's just uh let's see where we go here you got a left hand thumb throttle it's really soft compared to some throttles i think i think i have my handlebars a little out of adjustment so they're a little crooked here so we'll have to <clears throat> straighten that up all right this is kind of cool try pedaling here for a second so this is a seven speed which is really nice for a trike because most trikes are you know especially smaller trikes like this they come as a single speed so i like that it's a multi-speed trike look at that bump it up in the pedal assist too See that? I think my brakes need an adjustment in the back side. I hear a little bit of a clunk. Could be something coming from the axle. Yeah, brakes are kind of loosey-goosey. We're going to have to tighten those up. They're really soft. All right. Just doing throttle only here. Woo. With these smaller tires like this, got to be careful because it's a little squirrely. Just something to get used to. Looks like we can go full throttle at 16 miles an hour just in pedal assist too. So your throttle is going to give you everything you need there. If you don't want to pedal, if you don't want to pedal, you can just keep in pedal assist one and use your throttle and go full speed yeah kind of cool kind of cool need to tighten up a couple things here all right so we'll be looking for the full uh we're going to do amanda and i will be doing a couple of riding videos as we get familiar with the trike and we'll figure out all its little quirks all its uh, nice little features and we'll be bringing that to you in a full review video here in a week or two. So that's going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed the unboxing and uh, the short little uh, assembly that we showed you. And uh, yeah, so stick around and we'll be talking about this a lot more here very soon.